Hello everyone and welcome to the Tuesday video. As we promised last Thursday, we are going to complete our closet tour, as in we are going to show you our shoes, our bags, and our SLG's small leather goods. So We got a lot. I got more shoes. Yeah, we though. had to split the video because we have way too many and we don't want like a 45 minute video. So I'm going to show you my shoes, Ryan's going to show you his, and then I'll show you my bags and he'll show you his. So let's just start. Um, this pair of shoes Ryan got me. These are the Fila Disruptors. These might be the Disruptor 2.0. I don't really know the difference. I had one of these really bad and then Ryan got them for me, so. And then I like them so much that I bought myself a pair, a second pair that has like the logos all over it and stuff. I really love these shoes. They kind of feel like platforms without really being platforms. And I always wanted platforms when I was a kid and my mom told me, no, you're too tall. So. Mood. Now I have them. <laughs> Next up are these beauties. I had wanted these also forever. These are the Nike 97s, I think they're called. Mm -hmm. um, these are really expensive and really hard to come by, and even at the outlet, they're full price, and usually they don't even have them at the outlet or at any of the stores. Um, but, so I found these in Mercari, and I just kind of had to do with the color, but I actually really like the color, so that's not a problem for me. <laughs> these are just a pair of Adidas Original Slides. This is like with Farm, the company that teams up the Adidas and does the super prints. Those were like 10 bucks on their website in winter. These I got from eBay. I think you can tell what they are. These are some Gucci slides. These are way too big for me, and so I look like a kid in his dad's slides. I wish these fit me better. I would wear them all the time, but I kind of don't wear them as often as I would because they're so big on me. But they were not too expensive. Next up, these are also from eBay. Um, eBay. Came with the dust bag. These are just some really cute my size, so I decided to keep them. Like silver and white Pradas. They've got canvas and suede and leather to them. And I just thought they were really cute. I'd wear them with more of like a sporty or like kind of dress up or nicer events just because they're all white. These I'd wear to a wedding. I'm just kidding. Oof. Um, I don't know where they got this like curry stain <laughs> or whatever that is. Um, but these are my Adidas wings. Jeremy Scott teamed up with Adidas Originals and made these wing shoes. Another pair of shoes I'd wanted forever when I was a kid. And so I finally got some about a year and a half ago or two years ago. I really like this color. But yeah, I'd wanted them literally forever. Back when I was buying the Versace jeans shirts, I wanted those so bad. These I got from Mercari. These are some Louis Vuitton sneakers. They are authentic. All of this stuff is. Um, obviously, a skater boy used to wear these because you can tell he used to stop his skateboard by putting his heel down. I don't know why you would do that in your like $600 sneakers, but he sold them to me very cheap and they fit me. So I'm obviously keeping them. They're like all leather and they kind of slip off your foot since they're all leather, but Next up are my Hirachis. These are a newer style of Nike and they're very popular. They're kind of like the 97s. They're like sneaker heads like them a lot. Ryan has a pair as you'll see and he found these at the bins and traded me for some Doc Martens and I love these. They're very light and comfortable. Next up are my Fila Disruptor sandals. I saw these in a window at a mall. <laughs> and, <laughs> and then I we was bought like, them. I was obsessed with them. I've had a million compliments on these, like from people of all ages, like mostly older women. <laughs> these, these are like so. Know. They must look like cool. orthopedic shoes. But but they say they're so cool. They don't say those look comfortable. They're like those look so. Those cool. would help my butt. But I've had like all kinds of people, literally all races, all genders, all ages, tell me how cool these are, and I loved them so much. I went and bought myself a second pair, and I also like the black version, so if I ever came across them for cheap, I may buy myself a third pair, but I love these sandals. Haven't had Velcro shoes since I was about five, but now I do again, and I'm not mad. Let's go on to Ryan's shoes. Okay, 
bag, take a snack, get a seat. Buckle in. Buckle in, shishers. I have... More than me. <laughs> I want to say 35 pairs of shoes total. This isn't that many. I have more in my parents' house. I have more in other places. I got a lot of shoes. Starting off... A classic. A croc. How can you not love a good croc? I have all of my off-brand little jibbits in them. I remember my dad would always call them jitsies when we would go to the crop stand at the mall when I was a kid after church and we'd buy one. Um, and then I have my festive Crocs. These are summer. I got these at a thrift store for $5.99 and they have these fun little sunglasses on them and they remind me of margaritas, which is nice. Mine, literally, if you see me in public, I will probably be wearing these. These are my Birkenstocks. If you haven't bought a pair yet, go buy them. They're super comfortable. I've had these since I was like, a sophomore in high school, and they're still kicking. I've had the soles replaced three times, and they're fine. I've worn them to two different continents, many a different country, and they're wonderful. Oh my God, I can't reach. Okay, these, my bum converse, as I call them. I've had these for years as well. I paint in these, hence why they're like, covered in stuff. Um, I wear them a lot in like art classes when I don't really feel like messing up a nice pair of shoes. Let's go over here. This is one of my newest additions, my Doc Martin. I don't remember the name of these sandals, but I love them. They have like a thick sole for a Doc Martin, but they're not that heavy, which is nice. Those I just bought at the Doc Martin store. Okay. This was my birthday present from my mom. She bought me the Comme des Garçons Converse. I wanted these so long and she finally opened her pocketbook for me and bought them. And I'm terrified to wear them anywhere because I don't want to get them muddy even though it's just for a Converse. I love them. A staple. Good old pair of Chacos. Got these on Poshmark for like 50 bucks which is a really good deal. For Chacos, other big chunky sandal. These are my Tevas. I got these on eBay for 20 bucks last year and they're super comfortable. Everybody always tells me I look weird in them, but I don't care, I'm comfortable. Okay, another pair of Doc Martens. I love Doc Martens, if you can't tell. I got these at a thrift store for $6. They were an ugly brown color, I dyed them black, and now they look amazing, and I cannot wait to wear them in the fall. I love them, they're so comfortable. Okay, here is my version of the Hirachis. Jack found these in the bins, FaceTimed me the night that he found them and said they were a size 42. So naturally they ended up in my closet. Um, I love them. I need to clean them again after last winter. They're the all white ones and they're so comfortable. They're so comfortable. I call these my dad sneakers because it looks like a dad sneaker. I got these at Goodwill to wear to a golf tournament and they were super comfortable and I don't want to get rid of them, even though Jack tells me I need to get rid of some shoes. Mm -hmm. I don't want to. Um, I have no idea what kind of Air Max these are, but they're my size and they're comfortable. A sentimental pair of shoes. I don't really wear these much anymore, but my best friend Lauren was a mime in high school and her mime color was green and I walked into a Nordstrom Rack one day and found these for $15 and I have owned them ever since. I love them. I wore them to all her events. They're super cute. They're super comfortable. And like, if I ever need a group pair of Converse, I got them. And now we have moved on to the second half. Half of my shoe collection. My Fila Disruptors. My sister bought these and then I immediately bought them because I wanted them. And she always yells at me for buying the same stuff she does. But like, no my problem. She got good taste in shoes. These are super comfortable. They're super good to wear in the winter. I wear them in the snow all the time, especially living in Northern Iowa. I don't want to wear an ugly rain boot and be in the winter. I still look cute. These Jack found for me at the thrift store. They are a pair of Adidas slides. These are super comfortable. I love slides, as you can tell. I Adidas makes very good slides. They're very they, solid and they're very comfortable. And they don't hurt your feet. The band, so this part sometimes on other brands hurts your toe after you walk in them for a long time. These don't, and I love them. Um, next, good old pair of Champion Slides. I got these on Poshmark for like $7, and it's just like a bum shoe, as I call them. Speaking of slides that hurt your feet. No, these hurt Jack's feet, but they don't hurt mine. 
which is funky. I got these at a store in New York when I went a few summers ago. They're a pair of Fila slides. I need to clean them because they're kind of dirty. Um, my dad stole these from me and I didn't know where they were for like months. And then I moved to college and he said, here are your shoes back. And I said, thanks Todd. They're super comfortable, super cute, go with everything. And they're a good bum shoe. Christmas gift from my grandma, the checkerboard vans. I don't like the black ones because I don't know, they just don't match any of my outfits. These have been through a few ceramics classes, as you can tell. They're kind of nasty, but I love them. My grandma bought them for me. Speaking of Christmas presents, this actually was a birthday present for my mom again. She likes to give me shoes. These were my birthday present my freshman year of high school, and I still got them. Good old pair of Doc Martens. These are the 1468 Eyelet Boot. They are my favorite shoe in my collection, probably. I love them. They go with everything. You can wear them in the summer and the winter. And you just get a little bit of shoe polish and, like, clean them up. And they're amazing. Okay. I do believe that be it for my shoes. Tis time for the bag. That was a minute. Take a breath. Go get some bathroom, popcorn, go settle snack. in, because I got a lot of bags. Ryan's got a few bags. I don't have that many, I got more But shoes. I got a lot, yeah. so here we go. Why, hello there. Are you as overwhelmed as I am? Probably not. I got a whole stack of wallets and wristlets. I have a whole literal like witch summoning salt circle of like bags. So let's just start because it's gonna take a, lot, a while. Um, okay, first off, I have this little coach. It is Saturn moon stars type print. This was at the outlet a while ago. I have a moon tattoo, I have a Saturn tattoo. Needed to get that, I love space things. Coach also had this at the outlets. It's this shark print. I wanted to get something of this shark pattern because it's really cute, and so I got this. I also love the gunmetal color chain. If you don't know, Coach sometimes teams up with Pac-Man, like they do with Mickey Mouse and all that stuff, and Snoopy. Um, they did Pac-Man, like I just said, a while ago, and I missed it. I wasn't like into bags and stuff back then. And so I found one of these recently and ordered it. And little did I know they were gonna revamp that. And so I just got this about two weeks ago. And then this one, which is so cute. They had a tote of this print. Let's just keep going coach. This is coach. I have a lightning bolt tattoo. I've always loved lightning bolt symbol. Don't know why. Had to get this, really cute. This is Coach as well. This is a little backpack keychain. I love this. I always want Mike to wear this as a mini backpack. I think that'd be so cute, but he is way too big for this. But this is cute. He too fit. <laughs> um, Had to get this. They did a Campbell's soup and like snack and food thing once. It's by really like Andy Warhol yes. is the artist you're looking for. Michael Kors. With a coach hang tag on With it. <laughs> hang tag on it. Um, Michael Kors did a camo collection way back. Actually, my first bougie bag I ever bought to resell was a camo Michael Kors. And it sold for like 350. It's a really rare thing, like line. I love camo, had to find something camo. I found this, I ordered it. I used it for a while. I also don't want to ruin it because like the trim is kind of coming off. So I don't really use it that much anymore. I have a Marc Jacobs. This Ryan got for me because I saw this at Nordstrom Rack. I am obsessed with this like pattern, this paint splatter pattern. I've used this forever. I'm finally giving her a little bit of a break because I have a lot of wallets. Just recently got this as in like this week. This is a little Burberry card holder. Paint splatter. I Jackson Pollock. <laughs> A lot of artist collaborations. I have this white Gucci signature long wallet. This is from eBay. I have this Marc Jacobs that I've been using for quite a while now. I love this. This is also a really new pattern. I have a key clays and multicolor. This is a really rare Louis Vuitton print. As you can see, she is beat. And so I do not use this one anymore. I didn't even bring it out here, but I have another one right now that's Damier. And that's the one I use right now. I have a Balenciaga, Balenciaga little canvas 
pouch. I don't remember where I got mine, but I got Ryan one too. He'll tell you the story time on that when we get to his. This is from eBay. This is a Fendi monster. It's not really a Fendi monster, but it's a Fendi monster looking kind of wallet. This was from a Savers in Minnesota. It is a Fendi wallet. A little too beat to sell, or I wouldn't get much for it, so obviously I'm gonna keep it. It's the second Fendi I ever found. First Fendi I ever found actually matches it. This was in the bins in Des Moines. This is, if you know what this is, let me know. <laughs> I don't know what kind of bag this is. They're authentic though. They have serial numbers in them. Really cute. Again, I don't really know what it is, but. I have a Louis Vuitton monogram agenda with pages. I have this I just got recently. It was five or six dollars at a Plato's closet. Cheap. Burberry. The snap is broken off. I don't care. I love this. My mom found it, let me buy it, so I'm keeping that. The first Gucci I ever found, you guys have seen this in a Thrift Finds That I've Kept video. This is a really beat Gucci hobo, but I found it at a Goodwill, and I really like keeping the first of like bougie brands that I thrift. Wow, that was a weird transition from Gucci to Kipling. <laughs> this is my Kipling bathroom bag. Got these, got this at Macy's. Um, Kipling is a perfect material for like a bathroom cosmetic bag. So this is a Mew Mew across the body strap backpack. Um, it's like neoprene. I got this really cheap on eBay and I kept it for myself because it's really hard for me to get rid of many backpacks when I buy them. This is a Gucci that is authentic that Ryan thrifted from Savers that does still have the price tag on it. It was $8.99, we probably had a coupon. It is authentic and he let me have it because I wanted to keep it and not sell it, so. I still wanna sell it. But I wanna keep it, so I'm keeping it. This is my Michael Kors briefcase. I got this from the outlet. It was like 70% off, but it was still like a hundred dollars. Which is pretty crazy. It's a bit much. Um, I got this because I was kind of tired of using a backpack at school. I don't know why. I just kind of wanted to have a bougie thing to use at school. Got this a little while ago. At the same outlet, I got this little Michael Kors lightning bolt, navy blue tie-on type thing. But yeah, I used this instead of a backpack at school because I was part of the business building and I thought a briefcase was very fitting. This is from Mercari. This is an authentic Louis Vuitton, like it's pretty small, speedy. I'm keeping it, don't ask why. This was my first Louis Vuitton I ever bought. This is obviously not the strap that goes with it. The strap is actually attached to it, but she's really, really beat. And I got this for like 50 or 60 bucks off Mercari and it's real. And so I wanted to keep it, especially because it's my first Louis I literally ever touched. Like this is the first Louis I ever have had in person touching. And then shortly after that, I bought this as well. This, I think literally all three of these are from Mercari. This one, she's old, she's very stiff. So all these are in retirement in my closet because I don't want to hurt them. Doesn't have a zipper pull, was pretty cheap as well. Ryan got me this in... I was in Amsterdam This is when I bought it. This is an Originals nylon backpack. I used this for quite a long time as my mini backpack that I would go around with. It'd be really good for like winter and rainy times. I have a little Coach Cracker Jack pin on it. This, my mom found in the bins and it's authentic and so I asked her if I could keep it and she said yes. This is a Dolce & Gabbana women's collection with San Damiano some some. It is a big orange patent leather Miss Bye Bye bag is what it's called. The handles are absolutely atrocious. It's not in good shape at all. It wouldn't be worth much so I wanted to keep it. When I find things that are like bougie that are in such bad shape, they wouldn't be worth much anyways. I like always want to keep them. Kind of like this. This was from Mercari. This is a Gucci backpack. It's patent black leather. It is like peeling and everything. It's the bamboo backpack. She's really dusty, lots of issues. So I keep it on display in my apartment. Hang it on a wall. This is my authentic- This is mine. 
No. This I is use my it all the time. Authentic Prada backpack. I bought this off eBay. That's probably, if you want a bougie um, luxury backpack, I would say get a Prada one from eBay. That's like the most affordable kinds. They're really nice. You can just throw stuff in them. They're um, nylon, so you can just bring them out in the rain and stuff. I love them. I let Ryan use it now. Do I let me use it? He means I keep it no, and he never gets it back. Um, Love it. I'm gonna save this one. I'm gonna save my babies for the end. This is from Poshmark. This is a Proenza Schooler leather tote. Again, she's in pretty rough shape. Probably couldn't get too much from. These are like 900 bucks. I uh, used it as a bring to the post office bag for a while. Now we just use damaged longchamps, which aren't gonna be in this video, but just you know, we have like five or six. Damaged long shops that we use as we got up. shopping bags Bunch. and as um, USPS bags. But yeah, this was on Posh. I got it in a bundle. I keep it now. This was in the bins, but and obviously it's heavy, so it probably cost a little bit. Um, Three dollars. It's a Kipling travel bag, and so I use this when I go home and stuff. It's really cute. I kind of like the color. I don't have much stuff in purple. This, I just need one in better shape. This is unfortunately in retirement because it's in pretty rough shape. The zipper is like splitting on the sides and stuff. I don't want her to be forever dead and completely unusable, so it's just on display now. This is in kind of rough shape too. Um, it is a Louis backpack. I don't like know all the specific names of all these, but this was a super good deal. It was pretty expensive on eBay, but it was still an extremely good deal for this size backpack. I actually didn't know it was this big until it arrived. I thought it was just the size of this. Um, but yeah, it has a replaced drawstring, but it matches in color exactly, and it's leather. So this is actually usable, but mm, I still don't wanna damage it. This is from The Real Real. This is my Moschino, Moschino Fresh Couture Eau de Toilette backpack. I love this. I use this to finish off my college career. I love it. It's so cute. And then my two children. My Louis Vuitton Ellipse backpack and my Gucci Supreme Bees backpack. I'll link my review of this backpack down below. This is my literal child with Mike in second place. No, I'm just kidding. Mike's in first place, this is in second. I love this thing so much. I saved up on the real real and now literally I'm like attached physically to this thing. And same with this. I bought this off eBay, I invested a bit into it. I love it so much. I don't want it to be damaged and stuff so I don't use it anymore. I use the Supreme Bees backpack, but I absolutely love this thing. And I would totally recommend this to anybody with less broad shoulders than me. It doesn't fit me super well, but I still love it. Let's go into Ryan. I'm finally done. I'm glad you're all still here after all that. Let's go into my nice little For all of you who are still here. Bless. Okay, start off. Let's go biggest smalls. This is my school backpack. It is a sports sack, backpack, tote bag. I don't like backpacks because they're too bulky and tote bags, I'm the type of person where I throw things into a bag and then just like rip out if I need it. This is nice because it's like, it's a big bag and it has all my little fun things on it. And she does good when I have a lot that I need to take to campus. I also have one of these. I'm not the biggest like cosmetic bag person because my cosmetic bag is like an Ikea bag. I use so many different products. Um, but it's a little Kipling backpack. Backpack, Kipling pouch, so. This is my authentic, very heavily used, Longchamp backpack in white. I found this in the bins and I'm gonna keep it because I love it. It's denim transfer from jeans, but that's fine. Um, it's the perfect like knockout backpack because if any if you don't know you can wash long shot put them in the washing machine but put them in the dryer because the leather but i love this i love the white i think it looks really cute you can even put them in the wash with a little bit of bleach and they don't even get damaged so no. this is a birthday present from jack it is a gucci heart wallet with a monogram stamped into it i love this wallet i typically 
Wallets and backpacks, I tend to switch. So like, if I'm using a specific backpack, it'll go with a specific wallet. This wallet goes with my MicroCourse backpack very well. It has a lot of pockets, a lot of different little areas, and it's in good condition. Okay, next, this is my Coach Creed pouch. Jack got this for me because we were at the outlets and he saw that I wanted one. Um, it has my passport in it, which is nice. And it also has a strap. So if I needed to like clip it onto something or like hold onto it, I could. And I love the red. I think it's super cute. I think they originally come in coach totes. They come in the bag. But I was able to find one online. You got it because I wanted one. Okay. They are really cute. I could want one too, but Next I have too many bags. Is my authentic Louis Vuitton PM agenda. I love this. I just recently fixed her up. It used to be this like kind of tacky forest green, but she's now all black. And I got pages in it. I'm super excited to use this this school year. That'd be super nice. Um, I got this at a Goodwill, and I love it. This it's a is, coach pattern that I am obsessed this is with. Jack's favorite coach pattern. It's called CC Dream. If you ever find it in indigo blue, and I use this when I'm like just running errands or like need to go someplace quick, because it's super easy and it has a little like key thing I can throw it onto my keys. Next, another little coach accessory. This is part of a coach and Keith Haring collab. I love Keith Haring. This artist, this just says love on it with a bunch of his different little figures. It's just like a little pouch. I don't really use it that much, but it's just fun to display. My big old Louis Vuitton burrito. I don't know what the technical name for this is and the wristlet strap. They're like pochettes. The I pochettes think. are the small ones. Yeah, but isn't that a pochette like GM? Or like a big one. Whatever the hell it is, it's big. It's know. got a lot of room, which is nice for when I'm going out with friends. It's for me as well. Look. Yeah, I can give this to me. <laughs> I'll take this out with me to look better than everybody that I'm out with. She's got a cigarette burn, right? Isn't that the one that has one? <laughs> yeah. But like, it gives us some character. Catch her character. It gives her some character. Next. My Louis Vuitton, I don't know what kind of wallet this is. It's nice when I travel. I take this with me. I have five euro here. I take <laughs> As it, you can see. I take it with me when I travel. Because it fits in small places and it's nice because I only take my ID, debit card, credit card with me when I travel. My next bag is probably one of my favorite backpacks. It is my Michael Kors Raya backpack in blue. For me, again. <laughs> it is my anniversary present. It is my favorite bag ever. It's so cute. Story I time. I love the blue color. Story time. I had this bag when I was in high school and I was super poor. I needed money. So I sold it and like instantly I was like, I want that bag back. Like it's my favorite thing ever. I love it. They discontinued it naturally. Mm -hmm. They discontinued so, that style. That color is already kind of hard to find. And that so color with silver is literally impossible. It's impossible. Um, he found it for me. Don't know how much he paid. Don't want to ask. And it's here now. And it's my favorite thing ever. And I love it. Next is my little Balenciaga. I think these are called the mini city pouches. Mm -hmm. Um, I don't really use this that much just because I feel like if I had too many bags, I would have like bags in a bag, which I don't really want to do. But it's nice to have sentimentally. I love it. And if I ever need a cute little fun pouch, I got one. I had got mine from somewhere, I don't remember. It was like a thrift store in Minnesota. Yeah, like and it was like not $2. expensive. And then... I went to Plato's Closet, Minnesota, same one where I got that black Burberry wallet, and I found literally that exact same pouch for like three bucks. So and it's literally yeah. identical to mine. And so Ryan said he really wanted it, and as you can see, I really like to keep all the bougie stuff, and so I was okay with that. So and I like this. Now it's we cute. both have one. Yeah. And that's it. I'm not usually too much of a bag person, though. I will say I have commandeered that Prada backpack. That Jack has. I'm the type of person where I carry a lot of stuff with me. I have a lot of things. So he just has big bags. Oh, Not a bunch of bags, just a big bag. I have, I'm like a, I am like a mom in that sense. Where I have like a diaper bag, but there's no diapers or any baby stuff in it. It's a lot of stuff. all my trash. So hopefully you guys liked this kind of part two to our closet tour. I know this one was a little lengthy, but we, we had a lot to a show. Lot of Shoes and this stuff might have been more interesting than our shirts anyways so yes. hopefully you still like this let us know what you thought and let us know what your favorite things were that we have yeah, let me know yeah so thank you for watching okay.
Bye. Bye.